star striker there, Ruud van Nistelrooy, going through his paces in training. Captain Marvellous, Roy Keane too. Rio Ferdinand also uh, in a rather fetching cut-off T-shirt there. <laughs> Are they also, uh, well, no, look, they're all at it. <laughs> Remember, they're not allowed to take their shirts off now when celebrating goals, so they've got to show enough skin uh, in other ways. They also play Club of America of Mexico uh, and Juventus and Barcelona on their trip to the United States before the season gets underway, of course, uh, in just uh, a few weeks' time, August the 16th. But uh, United and their manager, Sir Alex Ferguson, looking forward to the season ahead. So far, it's been absolutely superb. The organisation, the training camp we see here is absolutely phenomenal. And I think that makes a difference when we go in pre-season. Uh, we don't have a great uh, time span before the first really competitive match on the 16th of August. We deliberately look at uh, the amount of rest players must need and get nowadays, tailor to the, the amount of training they must do before we start venturing into the football side. That's a 10-day preparation before we travelled. We've always done that. And uh, over the years, normally a pre-season fixtures has taken on a lighter note. We've never looked upon pre-season results as important. Never have. Even the Charity Shield has always been a game of used as a vehicle for the opening of the season. But obviously, when we're in a tournament or in a tour which involves playing against Celtic, Juventus and Barcelona and Club America, of course, then it does raise the stakes. But uh, particularly Celtic game because you're dealing with a, a great spiritual club in Celtic, much for ourselves, and they don't play friendlies. So unfortunately, I think we'll be, be on the edge of the game right away on Tuesday. And it'll be good for the lads. Celtic obviously were a few games ahead of us and we expect them to be sharper, but nonetheless, we don't anticipate losing. 